Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we are going to look at double char from string 2, and this is the Java solution. Now, when you get into string 2, array 2, or list 2, if you're working in Python, these are all problems that require loops. And that's the big idea you want to take away from this, is how do you write a loop and use that to analyze a string, or an array, or a list. In this case, the problem states, given a string, return a string, where for every char the original, there are two chars. So we look here, we see if the parameter is the, we get T-T-H-H-E-E. -E. In the second case, A-A-B-B, -B, we get A-A-A-A-B-B-B-B. In the third case, we can confirm this. What we notice is they're simply doubling every character. So the question comes up is, you know, I always when I work with students is, how do I know if I need a loop or not to solve my problem? And the question I always say is, do you need to look at every element? So if I was with you in class working through this one is I would actually give you a printout of these three letters, T, H, E, and I would have you physically take the T twice, take the H twice, and take the E twice. And in doing that, you see you have to look at each of them. So you have to look at index 0, index 1, index 2. And this is where we kind of develop this idea of a bread and butter algorithm. So this is an algorithm used that will loop through a string, or a list, or an array, and will look at every element. And the structure looks like this. We say for int i is 0, because our index start is 0. i is less than str.length, because remember the last index is 1 less than the, the length of the string. And we increment by 1 each time. And this is where our code block lives. That is the code that kind of drives the question. Now, once you have this and you understand what this does, we can very simply play with this. We can do every second letter. We can all sorts of things. We can go in reverse. And now if we apply this to this problem, I need to take each letter in sequence and copy it twice. So we're going to use string construction. So I'm going to start off by making a string called new str, and I'm going to make it empty. And now I'm going to write a loop to go through each element and grab each character twice. So we say for int i equals 0, i is less than str.length, and i is equal to i plus 1. I call this the count check change. And we say new str is equal to new str plus str.char at i plus str.char at i. So basically I'm getting the character twice and I'm adding it to new str. And once I've done that loop, I'm just going to return new str. And I hit go, and there it is. I can't stress this enough. Loops and strings are so important. There are a lot of problems you're able to use built-in functions, and that's great. But at this stage, if you're a beginning programmer, taking the time to understand how to write a loop, to seek, go through a string, or to go through an array, or go through a list, is really important in your development as a programmer. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Take care.